to the king, baby. I'm Batman.
sorry guys sorry man hopefully the the, the countdown wasn't done too long um oop damn both mics going there sorry guys hopefully the countdown timer wasn't done for a long time there <laughs> Cool, man. Cool, man. Good to see everybody tonight. Zelda Master John, Don the General, Sammy Superstar, Konaman Studio. Amos, is Amos still here? Amos, you good? You still here, brother? Nice to see everybody. Right on, man. Right on. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, man. I was, like, sitting there and I'm thinking, you know, like, jeez, man. I've been, like, talking a lot about layout and inside interior walls exterior walls and stuff but there's there's something like there's a, a way we do exterior walls that i wanted to show you guys um get it on a video <clears throat> um but uh, first uh, so that's gonna be tonight's topic okay i'm gonna i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you i got a diagram ready to go um uh, i was just kind of setting that up over there i was trying to i was pre-drawing some of the stuff i have some news too sammy um mama k hey my mama in north bay Who's in North Bay? <clears throat> are you in North Bay? Wow, cool, man. Are, Mom, are you in North Bay right now visiting Aunt Judy? That's cool, man. Um, uh, good to see you. I love you very much. Um, but uh, what's your news, Sammy? First, what's your news? Well, you tell Aunt Judy and Don I said hi, and I love them. Are you with um, Aunt uh, Christine as well? That'd be sweet, yeah. Party! <laughs> <clears throat> Right on. That's awesome. That is excellent. Uh, North Bay is awesome. I love the North. I lo Northern Ontario is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. So, but, um, so yeah, uh, some big changes. Big changes uh, on the channel the last few days. Um, oh, big time, big time changes. So, so, um, I heard you coughing. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I'm totally good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely good. Uh, Oh, I must have had my other mic turned off that at the same time. Oh, duh. I have the wrong channel for music on, and I had the other microphone on. That's hilarious, dudes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The whole time I had the other mic on, <laughs> and only uh, the, the, the left channel going on music. <laughs> Sorry, dudes. Totally off my game tonight, it looks like, eh? Oh, my God. So, it has been a week since I made the channel hit 55 subscribers last night. 400 views, baby. Yeah, that's that's fire, Sammy. That's great. And I saw Roberto uh, Roberto Blake coming over to your channel and leaving a comment. That is super cool. Uh, very, very nice. Roberto's a nice guy. Uh, I love those guys. They're all down to, down to earth, really cool guys, you know. Um, <clears throat> so, total respect. Totally awesome. Good for you, buddy. That, you're doing a good job over there. Just keep it up. Uh, you're 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 involved you know what I mean like you're involved with the community lots of people know you so um yeah just man you're, you're totally cool man <clears throat> oh so there's what's well, so the why would you be in th why why are you in North Bay then hey Emeron good to see you man you're not late you just got here on time man awesome awesome stream was scheduled for 735. Or scheduled for 7:30. I got the timer on on time, and we've been we're like five minutes in, four minutes in. Um, I'm gonna show you some something else about exterior wall framing, guys. This is a really good one, really good uh, technique to to, to know. Uh, if you're a steel stud framer and you do exterior, you definitely will be doing this at some point. So, hey, Mo, hey, buddy, you're back. Good to see you, man. <clears throat> I got my uh, I got this new green tea, uh, but there's something else in it. So it's it's um, um, I don't know green tea and something. It's awesome. Oh, you guys are going on tour. Okay, that's cool. There, oh, is there like uh, some some be like really nice place up there? You must be staying. Excellent, excellent. That's good. That's good. Get because man, winter's coming, so I've got to travel now in the, in the country, anyways. <clears throat> Raspberry green tea, excellent, excellent. Yeah, I just kind of stocked up on some chamomile and green tea today, so I'm like, yeah, I needed it. I was out out for a while. My mom-in-law brought me some uh, yesterday, as well. Um, but I, I am a big fan of the the green tea, right? Hmm. Very good, very good. So yeah, I've been trying to uh, cut down on coffee. I've been uh, some days I only have one cup of coffee in the morning, uh, but I never have more than three a day. Okay. And that's a lot. I used, I used to drink 12 cups a day before, you know? So, um, 
But I, yeah, I like to switch it up with tea. And um, I'm gonna try a new a new regime. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to substitute exercise for for or for beer for drinking beer. <clears throat> um, at least for like, you know, at least a month, right? To 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 see if uh, see see the changes. That'll obviously there'll be some positive changes. But um, yeah, I. I need to, um, I need to, uh, I need to get like, you know, my cardio back up. It's, it's uh, important that I do that. I think, um, get rid of the belly, uh, to, cause then my, um, my, uh, back problems, right. Uh, hopefully will go away with, when I lose this belly. Okay. So yeah, big news. I have huge news, huge news. <clears throat> okay. So seeing there's only four of us are on the stream right now. Um, and, uh, I guess I'll, 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 I'll give you guys a leak. I do have channel memberships now, so, uh, that's going to be rolling out here this week. Um, I have a, a three tier system set up and it's going to be really cool because, um, it's going to help me further, um, like, uh, monetize the channel, right? So then I can teach full time, you know, that's my goal. I want to be in here teaching and doing content full time. So, uh, the memberships will be, uh, will be a way for me to like, <clears throat> uh, market myself and my other services. So it's going to be pretty cool, pretty hype. Um, so yeah, the, the, there'll be one at 199, right? Which is the crony level. There'll be one at, um, 499, which is like the student or no. Yeah. No, no, it goes fourteen ninety nine student of construction, and then and then twenty four ninety nine, and that's an industry leader. And they're different uh, like training levels that I have set up. So it'll be pretty cool. It's gonna be pretty cool. You guys are gonna love it. Also, I got uh, I bought constructioncronies.com today, so we have um, a new website coming. Um, that'll be where I'll put all the documents I give out for free, all the templates and things like that. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe I won't do that. I might. Um, well, yeah, 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 I will. I will. I do. I will always keep that for free, those things. Yeah, and then, yeah, all the regular content on my channel is still going to happen. Like, everything's going to stay the same that way. It's just, I'll be able to do more, right? Which is awesome. <clears throat> so, pretty cool, pretty cool. Pretty happy about that. Um, awesome. YouTube gave it to me yeah it's really cool uh, of them to do that so um and uh, yeah i submitted my tiers and they approved them so right now i got all the graphics done so there i got all the new emojis done i got um um the badges i got all the badges done the emojis are done well as many as that i could upload right now so uh, once i get to you can upload like four i think or five maybe uh at, when you first start and then when you get two members you can uh, you can upload another five so um i have tons of emojis i can upload so um uh, you know in our discord we have tons of emojis in our discord and stuff so uh it's gonna be cool man <clears throat> yeah right awesome sammy yeah that's not a bad idea um, but yeah, I'll, I'm just happy I'll have another place to, to put more content and, um, um, and, uh, I don't need no stinking badges, man. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Um, Konaman, you already have a badge, man. So, uh, Konaman is, a, is the leader of the, of the channel who has received more, the most hearts from comments on, um, um, so, and that's by a long shot. So I don't think anyone can, can is even close. <laughs> so it's pretty cool, man. Um, night, night. Oh, I see. Okay. Mama. Yeah. It's, it's going to be late. Tell Aunt Christina, I love her. Um, hope you guys enjoy your trip. Um, send some pictures. Yeah. That'd be great. Love you guys. Good night. <clears throat> so yeah, boy. So pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Um, and so I decided to go ahead and, and get the new website because, um, I I need to I want to get working on the uh, the work clothing line and I need and I want to there's a bunch of webinars that um, I need to create and and there's like uh, there's also um, like digital books that um, that are you know like there's just so many plans I just don't have the time for it all right because of my other my other job gets in the way of that why am I not hearing any any tunes. Huh, okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, boys. I, I, I'm just, uh, I'm excited about that. I'm very, very excited about that. Um, so, yeah, we're growing and uh, growing and showing, man. It's going to be doing pretty awesome, guys. So, But, uh, yeah, everything else will be the same. Um, I'm just going to be extending what I do, right? So, it's going to be awesome, dudes. <clears throat> Chris and Kona, yeah. <laughs> That's funny, man. <clears throat> Wow! I feel good! 
Hilti Tour update. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't shot it yet, actually. But um, I, I just, because some other things kind of came up, actually, that I had to bump that. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I got a, where's my damn, anyways, I'll make a new one. Uh, but yeah, that'll be, that'll be a shot this week, though, for sure. Um, I was going to do it um, today, actually, I was going to do it. But uh, some other things came up. I ended up having to do... So hopefully, maybe I'll be able to squeeze it in t tomorrow, but probably not till Wednesday actually. And then it, that'll only take me one night to edit, so I can I can get it out um, um, for Thursday. Um, yeah, they approved me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> we we <clears throat> are we jealous a bit? Yeah. <laughs> actually, that's cool. I saw you on uh, on Ant's uh, stream. That was good to see you. I, I love I, ru I, lo I love running into you guys over on Ant stream. Um, shit, I had another note I needed to, to write down. Hmm, oh well, that's okay. Oh, well, I'll remember. And then I'll write it down again. I got it written down upstairs anyway. So, yeah, and so, and then the, also there's a video I had to write uh, for the membership thing too. And I got that written, that script written today. So I have literally three scripts Red and ready to go, my uh, to to shoot on tomorrow, and then um, I have a video edited already, uploaded to YouTube, ready to be. It'll be uh, it'll I'll publish that tomorrow, uh, 4 p.m. 4 4 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. I'm publishing a video, so don't get confused. I won't be going live till 7:30, but the video will post at 4. Um, yeah, I just didn't post it today because I. I need to take thumbnail pictures and I just had got my green screen lighted. I'm getting my green screen lit up right now so I can do all that. So, Woo! Gradge is uh, good, man. Um, so tomorrow afternoon, Big A and I are pulling all the wire and setting all the boxes. So that is um, that we're doing tomorrow afternoon. Um, and then, yeah, I need to then it's basically I just need to get back on the get another job get that get that next job going so I can make some money so I can buy all the materials so <clears throat> I'm such a pain. No, not at all. Absolutely. No, not at all. Um, I did do a live stream from the garage the other day so um, if you go to my um, I don't know, to my videos page on my, for my channel page or whatever, you'll see it. Actually, <clears throat> I'm going to go over here right now. So, um, oh yeah, we're like four subscribers away from uh, 2,900, so 2,900. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, this here, the uh, a day ago. So, was it yesterday I did this, or the day before? I don't know. Anyways, there, there's one right there that I did. What'd you think of that new mask I got? I, it's in the garage right now, but I'm gonna take some uh, thumbnail pictures with it uh, tomorrow. So, oh, that's what I needed to remember, actually. Duh, that's so funny. I knew I would remember some somehow. I need to go get the mask. It's in the garage. Uh, Cool, man. All right, guys. Paul Peck, dude. What's happening, man? How's it going? Good to see you. Right on, man. Good stuff. Good to see you, dude. <laughs> That's funny, actually. <clears throat> Coolness, man. So, uh, oh, uh, let me see here. If I go... I've been also cutting, I've also been cutting our live streams, bits out of our live streams and posting them as videos. Um, so that is so cool. That is so cool. Um, getting all the extra content out of the, out of the live streaming is a beautiful thing, man. Beautiful thing. But hey, man, if you guys are ready, I should go over to the drawing board and um, I could, I already have a box show, like drawn, so I get right into it. Uh, I got the live stream on over there, I believe, so I can see the chat. 
microphones over there. I'm gonna stop the music though, okay? Cause uh, I don't like the music going when I'm when I'm talking about the stuff. You know what I mean? It's just distracting. But if you guys want the music on, let me know, okay? Uh, it's not a problem. It's really what you guys want. So uh, let me know. I do have a healthy store near me. It's um, it's it's I, I drive by it at least once a week. So yeah, it's it's um. <clears throat> So yeah, it's um, it's uh, really close actually, really close. Oh, oh, Sammy too. Sammy, I upgraded all my audio cables. They're all this like uh, U green cable. Oh my god, with the gold tips, the audio is like the no. Oh my god, the noise is like almost a minimum. Uh, uh, on Wednesday, or my two my two uh, Piley um, uh, noise canceling. Um, uh, things are coming, so I'll plug them into the computers, right? And then the line will come from that to the mixer. It's gonna be so, there's not gonna be any noise, hopefully. And then the, I was looking at that cloud lifter, man. Uh, I might be able to if, reduce some of the noise through my mic with that cloud lifter, which would be really cool, man, which would be really, really cool. Because right now, my, um, my, my level is at zero. My gain's about 50%, about 50% right now, but um, which isn't too bad, but I would rather if, if I could have this level at my slider at minus 12 to 13, you know, so um, Yeah, super cool, man. I think but yeah, that's really taking it far, you know That's taking taking and taking it super far. The audio will be so crisp and clean. It's gonna be beautiful, man Beautiful. I can't even believe this is music coming from my cell phone even. It's crazy, right? <clears throat> but all right, all right, let's I'm off the track again. We'll go and um, I'll, I'm gonna show you guys what I wanted to show you guys. I'm glad you're here, Amaran. You like this one. All right, uh, I'll just start up. Uh, oh, how's my mic or the camera? Uh, I guess I can move that a little bit. <clears throat> oh. Shaka Laka. <clears throat> okay. Hail to the king, baby. I'm Batman. <laughs> Right on, dudes. Oh, I want my tea. Oh, sorry. One sec, guys. Oh. Oh. I didn't realize that was off either. Shit. Oh, no, really? Come on, man. <coughs> Are you seriously going to do this to me now? <coughs> yeah. Oh, man. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Why the heck isn't this... What the heck is going on here? My internet's not working properly here. Why not? Man, that's weird. <clears throat> Just trying to bring up the chat and then I'll get right into it. I can't even see what anyone's saying right now. What? Why can't it? It won't connect to YouTube for some reason. Oh, hold on. Let me just hardwire it in. Damn it. <clears throat> Let's see. I think I can. Uh, doesn't it have a hardwire? No, it doesn't. Oh, I guess I can't hardwire it in. Any Wi-Fi? Oh, shit. <clears throat> Hold on. Sorry, guys. 
Technical malfunctions, te technical difficulties. That's weird because it's showing I have internet access. So why is it not connected? Connected, secure, we're good. Uh, let's try <clears throat> another browser maybe. Oh, crap. This thing is so slow. A faster computer would be so, so good. Um, but this is like, this is like a cheapie, you know, um, and it's so slow. Uh, but this is the laptop I write all my, um, uh, my scripts on, right? So, uh, what? So what the heck is going on here? YouTube isn't working? What the fuck? Or is it everything? Something's up, man. All right, hold on. I'm going to have to do a full uh, reboot, guys, and then uh, hopefully that'll fix it. I'm going to go to the other computer. We'll wait. <clears throat> we'll wait to do this until it's done. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, sorry guys. Sorry about that. Uh, there's no point in me doing it unless I can see the chat. So I'll just, um, uh, not enough likes. Yeah, man. Cheers. Um, sorry about that. But yeah, I'll fix that up. I'm rebooting the system now. So hopefully that fixes it. Hopefully that fixes it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to post a picture of the cables, uh, Sammy. You, you're gonna love it. It's so clean. Um, and those ones are very strong, like shielded and stuff. They're nice cables. How's, uh, did I say hi to Mikita? Did I miss you, Mikita? I hope I didn't miss you. Hey, how's it going tonight, dude? Yeah, what's, so what's happening, guys? What's happening with you guys then? <laughs> I can uh, tell you that um, this, this kind of wall is uh, pretty cool because um it's kind of built on the outside of the building you know um instead of building it inside the steel going steel to steel uh these walls are built uh, along the front of them and they're clipped into the into the iron right um so it's pretty cool stuff i wanted to show you a demonstration on how i do it right just to draw a quick drawing and show you how i how i um <clears throat> find my layout for it and then uh shoot the lines you know um install the clips it's uh it's pretty it's a good system it's a, it's pretty crazy it's pretty cool uh there's a lot of um a lot of clips right a lot a lot of clips you have to install and some of them are um uh like slip clips they all should be i guess uh, for the long, like in the beginning, we made our own clips. You know what I mean? We were making all of our own clips, cutting them all. But now you can buy them with the, they have slots in them for deflection, right? I got to clean up, grow ba album, my bathroom in, reground it. I regrowed it. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll do it anyway. Grout. Yeah. You're going to regrout it, right? That's what you mean. You're going to do some grouting. Am I thinking that's what's right? Yeah, it's easy enough. Um, if you need any help with uh, with tiling and grout, let me know. I'm I know I know I'm I love tile. I actually really enjoy that. Um, metal exterior wall stud attached to structural steel. Yeah, exactly, sort of like that. Yes. <clears throat> the after that, send me the ugly pic. <laughs> oh, let me go see if the computer started up, and I'll be just one second. I can start some music, I guess, too. Turn on the right channels this time, eh? dude yeah so that's the thing right sammy too if you uh the the audio um from my phone is literally on 
minus 35 db right now right that's minus 35 db when my microphone is at zero that's the difference um man oh man and it's crazy crazy super clean eh i'd like to to get some send some more power to the uh to the to this microphone and the cloud lifter would be a cool addition i think <laughs> it's just minimal minimal details but so cool <laughs> Hey, Adam Ball, man. Yeah, no worries, dude. No worries, man. Yeah, I just had some uh, technical difficulties, so rebooting the system over there, and then I'm going to hit the drawing board, and I'll be talking about um, uh, uh, installing the exterior steel stud on the outside of the structural steel, right? So it's, uh, what do you call those? Like maybe, oh, man, floatable, floating type wall maybe or something? I don't know. But um, it's uh, cool, man, because it's kind of the basis for a lot of things, right? There's a lot of lot of things with steel study is about the bracing and the um, uh, right and just just knowing how to brace to all the different types of iron right that's the kind of the that's that's kind of what we do in this trade right just make the imperfect structural steel and concrete perfect right so <laughs> let me check see if it's uh, up yet. <clears throat> I got it. So it's it's up and running, guys. So I'm gonna pop over there, okay? likes god you guys are the best thank you so much appreciate that excellent thank you so much guys all right chris you think milwaukee want to be like hilti best at concrete working oh of course of course they do of course they do so okay what do we have like we have bosch and hilti i guess are the big players up here eh bosch and bosch and hilti but other than that who who else right who's the competition you know um, I should put this. I oh, you know what? If I got some more um, cables, uh, uh, USB extensions, I could put the camera here. I think that would be better, but that's okay. Um, Makita? No, not so. I think Makita. They're always been a woodworking tool. They always have. They've always been focused on uh, working with wood. You know, um, that's how I always seen uh, Makita. You know, we're a woodworker's tool. Uh, concrete, yeah, Bosch and Hilti, yeah. Oh, geez, I've never seen a Dewalt SDS before. You know that? I've never even seen one. I don't think I've ever seen one on a website even. I've, we'll have to look that up later because uh, I, yeah, I've never seen one. <laughs> That's crazy. It's crazy. So, um, and yeah, you know, I mean, competition is good. Competition is good. Uh, I think Milwaukee come out with a jackhammer. It's kind of neat, you know. Um, I'd love to see that in action. Um, there's, there's, uh, they're doing the laser thing, you know. Uh, I think that the, the, the rotating lasers, those, the one they should make, you know. Um, they got all these dinky little ones, you know, which they don't really need. The, 
um, we but we could use a good uh, rotator. So I'd, I'd love to see their take on that, right? Uh, I was disappointed with the lasers. Um, but yeah, man, um, it's it's uh, there's a lot of cool things out there now for this trade, like the BX3, the the battery powered um, direct fastening tools. You know, that uh, the game changer doing walls like this, guys, like is is why is what messed my my hands and my forearms up to the point I could barely use my hands anymore. Like it was so bad, um, because I I was shooting in powder actuated fasteners right um using the powder actuated guns sorry right for and though those are like bang like shooting a was it 27 caliber shot into the steel or something is it a 27 caliber i want to say it's um it's it's really it doesn't either way it's like you're you're pushing the gun straight into um the iron and blasting a pin into it right uh so eventually yeah you're gonna start feeling that right Milwaukee should send uh, you the lasers so you can give them your input. I'd love, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, I would test them. I would test them out for sure and give you my opinion. That would be dope. Absolutely dope, man. That's funny. The that when I cut that Milwaukee laser video too, that didn't. Not a lot of people watched that video. It didn't do get a lot of views. So um, I don't think. Yeah, that's more straight, eh? Cool. I don't think that, uh, also don't think everyone agreed with me either. <laughs> so when you're doing, um, in the, let's say this is a 30 foot high. So typically like, um, three stories, but this is 30 feet. Okay. <laughs> that's your elevation <clears throat> a lot of home depots down here had makita concrete tools available for sale in rent interesting um so what make what concrete tools do they have i know they have the new breaker that's which is really cool um and then it's gonna go like um hold on here uh, if i go uh Two, one, two, two, uh, okay, whatever. Um, I'm going to try to divide this into three bays. It might not be perfectly even, but whatever. We'll pretend it is. Yeah, either way. <clears throat> okay. I had a plug-in DeWalt SDS, got it on clearance for a hundred, sold her uh, for three hundred plus the bits. Hey, OG Scotty, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Good to see you. Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome. All right, so this is when you, we get to the job. There will be um, this. It'll look like this, right? You're gonna have your concrete grade beam and slab is down the bottom. Okay, so this is up. <laughs> Okay, this is up, up, right? <clears throat> Trying to, I, I should probably end up getting better at these, eh? But I probably will over time. We'll see. Maybe I, if I could get an animator, an animator to animate it and draw it, that'd be sick. <laughs> Anyways, um, so 10, 20. Okay. I just want to show you how it's going to go. Here, here, there. <clears throat> and this is going to be a big I beam. Or hold on here, no. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Eh, never mind. You're not. It doesn't matter what the hell that is. Is bye, Bob. What's up, dude? How's it going, man? Right on, dude. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. So typically what happens here, right, is you have, this is your grade beam level here. So grade, okay, grade beam. And this is your iron column, 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 okay. So your corner is here, 
okay? There, there's going to be an I-beam here, <clears throat> and then you're going to have that, like I talked about before, right? The, like the space above it, and then the parapets, right? Let me see if I can pull this down, maybe. How's it going, Bob? Good to see you, dude. Yeah, might as well go right up to here. Or, uh, no, I don't want to go up that high. I just want to go like that high. Halfway. Shite. This is going to be a little crappy, but that's all right. All right, anyways. <clears throat> and then you'll have your roof. Okay. This is a this is your Q deck. Okay, it's a Q deck, right? You got Q deck up here. Plywood, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay. So typically, what's going to happen here? They're going to have glazing systems in these, right? And when you see the iron set up like this, then you know the windows are going to be like here. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Sometimes, most of the time, right? I that's like calling Milwaukee fuel. <laughs> What's that about? Uh, and then this will be uh, two and a half feet, three feet, okay, up uh, to from here to here. We'll say uh, two to three feet, and then you'll be. Uh, then you'll have your parapet elevation, okay? Parapet elevation, which we don't we don't have any of our steel stud in here yet, okay? This is just structural concrete is uh, done, right? The the structural steel is complete. The Q decks complete. There'll be plywood, whatever they need. Maybe it doesn't really matter um, at this point depending on their system, I suppose. But <clears throat> we're going to end up coming here and clipping the, the I-beam, right, every 16 inches. Um, clipping every 16 inches here, okay? You're going to laser, you're going to laser a line in and then, uh, then, um, uh, pull your tape to draw your your centers, okay? Um, and then you'll do a you'll laser laser a new line every bay, okay? Every bay. But when it comes to the, I should probably draw them a different color. Uh, what color should I draw them? Blue. Let's go blue, baby. Yeah. This is commercial uh, storefronts or warehousing. It's um, but yeah, it's very very popular style of building. Um, what's, what's gonna, what it's gonna be like is, on um, on the bottom here, okay, you're gonna have your corners, they're called pilasters and stuff, okay, they'll come in so, oh, damn, the blue isn't gonna work, shays, um, nope, that won't work, uh, boner, man, green, 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 all right, hopefully the green will work. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to draw like a roughly where the track would normally go. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so yeah. The bottom track, you're going to go in between the, the columns. There's always going to be like some sort of, uh, some sort of, thickness there right the hot in between the columns and you're you're gonna go up to the elevation of the window and back down okay there'll be um oh fuck sorry i'm i erased the the line here it's at 30 feet right uh so there'll be there'll be your um your header at elevation let's say whatever okay it doesn't matter header we're just we're just showing you header elevation will be around there somewhere okay um, you 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 
what what you need to do is is hang uh, your studs, okay? Like hang one here, right? Get your all your clips on, and then you hang one here, one here, say, okay? Uh, one in the middle or whatever. It doesn't matter. Clips all the way every 16s, but you you don't you don't put them all in and then put your track on, okay? Um, you're gonna first of all, these will be full height studs. Okay. These in here, your corner studs are full height studs. So will in between here, okay? Full height studs, right? Studded out, of course. The all, but you see we're going above the I beam in the deck, going to the all the way to the parapet elevation, right? So you you still use clips for all of your studs. All the studs get clipped, right? And uh, these long ass studs are can can you know they can get floppy and stuff. This this secures them really nicely. So there's this is a this is kind of a straight way, but there's also uh, some funky designs, right? Where you need to use a jig, okay? And the 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 steel will be something like that. Uh, you know what? I'll show you that after, okay? Rich, I don't want to forget that because this is if it's straight up. It, I'm just showing you a theory, okay? But anyways, when you get your your corners and and all your all your tall ones studded out, then you come back in and do your headers, right? You 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 put a stud in, a couple studs in. It's going to be a lot longer than this, okay? It's going to be a lot bigger. Put a piece of track in. All right? Uh, and then put all your studs in after. Right? Hey, Eva, how's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, it will be more... It'll be like more than one piece more than likely. It could be bigger. Um, but try to remember that most bays are like 20 feet wide. Okay? On average, they're 20 feet wide, so my drawing isn't isn't very, you know, accurate. But you get what I'm saying. Does that make sense, guys? So you get your, you need to. Oh, okay. So obviously, you're gonna set up a a, a rotating laser on the corner, and you're gonna shoot a two inch offset. Okay, you're gonna do light, do your layout, shoot a two inch offset. You're going to make sure that nothing comes past. You're going to check your corners and you're going to check your your certain spots throughout the 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 iron, okay? And make sure nothing uh, goes out, right? If so, then bring it out more. Okay? Bring your wall out even more. It's fine. Just make sure everything will be nice and perfectly flat and flush. Um so then, yeah, you just drill it in. You use the well, – I'm so used to the Hilti one. It's a two-inch offset, right? And you just ding, 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 ding. And then I'll, when you hear the beep, you, cl you clip it on the, cl on the clip, right? Clamp it on the, uh, on the clip. Boom. Screw it in, right? Uh, beep, 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 right? Clamp. Screw it in. It's really easy. And you only have to do that to so many studs. And then, and then you get the track on, and then the rest you just stud out. Okay, I would say you got uh, one in the middle, like one on each end and one in the middle for every 10 foot piece of track. You only need three studs to hang that, right? And then the rest of the studs will just fall into place. Does that make sense? Do you, need, do you have any questions about anything so far? How's it going, Eva? Good to see you. Cheers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the chat. Shout out Team Smoke. Oh, first of all, you can't even see the top of the drawing.
right? Darn it. Sorry, dudes. Let's see here. I just pulled it down. Okay, there. Now you can see it. I guess I can push it up a little wee bit. Darn it. So, yeah. The the elevation of the of the building, 30 feet here or whatever, and then you got your I-beam. Then you got all your Q-deck and stuff like that. Yeah. You have a question? What? Yeah, what's the question, dude? <laughs> I'm probably confusing the hell out of everybody, but the more I, I talk about this stuff and, and and show you guys, and then I watch the replay, I learn, oh, you know what? I can do this better or that better. So it's cool, man. I, I appreciate the this the time, too, uh, to practice all this cool stuff. Yeah, in a Hotmail. <laughs> That's all. In a Hotmail address. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so yeah, that's gonna, gonna repeat for every bay, uh, there'll be windows. There won't be any, any steel stud down here. There might be like, you might have to come in and put little ones in after, uh, maybe the, it'll, you'll, they'll, you'll, you'll either, you'll know by the time the window guys get there, right? You might have to put little ones, but usually their systems are all glass and have the doors in them and everything. So you just gotta leave the opening for them. Um, when you're laying them out, get the, uh, get the window dimensions, the rough openings from the general contractor, if you can. Sometimes there's, you don't see, uh, you don't really see many people on site at this point. <laughs> so, uh, it's pretty cool. Usually on your own driving an AT, like an all-terrain lift doing this, you know, uh, um, a uh, scissor lift. Sometimes you'll be, ha you'll have a boom lift, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty dope, man. Okay, so then I'm going to erase this half. <clears throat> of the drawing. Because uh, when, when sometimes the, the, it's not as, the top of the parapet has to come out, right? Something like that, whatever. I don't know. These are called uh, pretzels. <laughs> They're called pretzels. Right? So, in order, and, and this will be what's at the front, at the top, right? There'll be some sort of, there'll be some sort of, um, Shit, I gotta pull it down. There'll be some sort of stucco finish, usually, right? Some kind of like ephus or whatever. Anyways, that's not the point. The point is that you need to build pretzels like this. It's stud. This is stud, and you just build a jig, right? Build a jig. Oh, thanks, dude. Jeff C. That's awesome, man. Uh, I appreciate that. Cool, man. Um, sitting here waiting to go into work. Whenever I stop watching, you didn't lose my interest or a follower. Nice, man. Appreciate that, Jeff. That's awesome, dude. Uh, what, what type of work you do? Erase have two drawing. It's going to fall down. Now. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so the what you need to do here is build a jig so that every single pretzel is the same. Okay? And as long as you have your plane proper... Everything's nice and flush, and and you you use you lasered it uh, you lasered it in. Um, you're laughing, man. You'll be able to use your pretzels at the top. Screw them in. You can make the marks on every on every uh, stud. You can make marks. You know, laser them in, and uh, line your pretzels up, and they'll be they'll be perfect, right? As long as you build them all the same size. But you know how to make a jig, right? You just use other steel stud. 
right? You make the template, you draw it on a piece of plywood, and you uh, you, you can use other steel stud if you want even, and um, block off around the outside of the outline. And then you put the stud in, screw it all off, you know, next, 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 right? You, you this I've done these 800 feet long, 1,000 feet long. I've done huge long walls, man, easy, 1,000 feet or more, just not like oh my god dude just bang just if you can imagine uh shooting in clips for two weeks straight nothing but shooting clips in for two weeks straight before you get any studs in right uh it took me two weeks to to shoot all the clips in and two weeks to do all the rest <laughs> crazy right it's crazy so yeah, uh, you know what? This is this is just another other style of, of building. You find it in warehouses and um, like maybe big storefronts. Uh, this is a huge. These are tall, right? There's usually there may not even be. How many clips was it? Well, it depends. Like, you need to have one every 16 inches everywhere. You need a stud. So all your all your door window your glazing studs. You need to have them. Uh, you need to have them on every 16 on your header studs, you know, then you'll have your pilaster studs. I call them pilaster, sorry, but, the, but yeah, you know, like they're just the ends. I think that um, you have to board it and then you build a pilaster out front of that. That's what a pilaster is. It, uh, a true pilaster would be the, the once this is boarded, then the, it would be the little stud wall that would come out to build the, that wall out, you know, for design wise. <laughs> Right, and then yeah, these bays can go on and on and on and on, and then um, 140 14 clips or 140,000. Oh, Jesus, I don't even know. Um, so if you think about it, six every 16 inches, okay, no, it would be two every 16. And so when you're doing steel stud, estimating there's one stud per foot of wall you're doing. So if I did 1,000 feet, that'd be, what, 2,000 clips. 2,000 clips, right? So it's more, probably more, maybe more than that, than more than 1,000 feet. It's two huge, long buildings, one after another. It's crazy. I should go and take some pictures of it. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. It's actually right down by the Hilti store, believe it or not, actually. That would be that would be interesting. It's nice long, long warehouses. They're pretty neat. So, but yeah, and guys, dudes, if you have any questions about that, um, I will gladly answer them. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's it, man. For now, as as far as I can think of, uh, obviously, this is the first time I talked about this style. So I'll I'll look back and I'll figure a way to make it better. I always, always do, yeah. Every time, every time, uh, every time I can, I go back and watch the the replay. I'm like, oh man, I could sit that, or could do that, or oh man, maybe we should talk about that, <laughs> right? So it's uh, cool. I just constantly uh, trying to figure out how to communicate the communicate it to you guys properly, right? It would be pretty dope to have like an anime animation, like an actual computer graphic to show this stuff. But um, obviously, I can't afford a graphic to like an animator, so I the I'm sticking with the whiteboard for now, <laughs> right? But it's a pretty cool concept. I think it's a pretty cool concept. But uh, I'm gonna go back to the other computer then for now. <laughs> Oi! Um, I guess I could leave that light on. Oh boy, oh boy. Dope, man, dope. How long was that, anyways? Did I get it? Did I talk for a bit about it, anyways? Hope so. Uh, where are we at here? Maybe about half an hour, right? That's pretty good, I think. Good, good stuff, man. Good stuff. So yeah, man. Anything uh, like I said, you guys want to talk about on a live stream? Let me know. Yeah, because uh, I'm doing the 30 days straight challenge. I think today's day 14, ain't it? I think today's day 14, boys. Oh my god.
goodness. So, does anybody anybody know? Is today day 14? I don't know. I need to like, it has to be solid because this is giving me like, I, can't, I don't like the flashing behind me. Come on, man. There we go. Ah, perfect. Those LEDs are a pain in the ass though. They don't look right. I need to properly flag them off um, so that it doesn't look like there's, you know, there's missing or whatnot, but that's okay. We'll figure that out. Hey, Konaman! Hail to the king, baby. Yeah, buddy. Cheers, dude. Thank you so much for coming. Have a great night. Yeah, dude, that was me this morning, Konaman. So I'm, I'm really tired tonight myself because... We had uh, we had to get going super early this morning. Uh, Courtney had a meeting early, and I had an appointment super early. And oh yeah, so we had to get the girls and kids up. And yeah, it's just crazy. It's crazy. Three three little ones, man. I tell you, the six six year old, four year old, and uh, 18, 16, 17 month old maybe. Yeah, seventeen months I think he is now. It's it's uh it's yeah, it's a crazy morning. But I think we got it. We got a pretty good system, so it's it's starting to work out starting to go pretty smooth but yeah have sweet dreams mr konaman studio very cool man so what do you guys want to do do we have do we have we guess we can hang for a little bit do you guys want to do anything on the back end and check out so many web pages or something but yeah man I definitely need to get to bed early tonight. You want better? Yeah, yeah, huh? No worries. You coming right up, mister. <laughs> better music, eh? Hey? Yeah, this isn't a good song. Have they all been shitty like this? Sorry, man. Fuck, I hate polluting your ears like that. That's a cool thing. I can just change it right on my phone now, the music, which is nice. It makes it really easy. Oh, you know what? I should put Do Not Disturb on, too. There we go. Anyone hear any beeps? That's a good song I found uh, last night. I wish I could remember what the fucking name was. It was, good. It was really cool. Which one was it? Oh, man. I did miss his last video. Look, see, I see all. I watch all his videos. And I, do, I watch them over and over and over. 115,000 subscribers. Mr. Paul Peck. Awesome. A uh, phone scope for my phone? A phone scope? 150, 150,000 subscribers. Roger Wakefield. All about plumbing, baby. Yeah, that's fire, man. I can't believe how f I exploded. This guy exploded. It's amazing. Yeah, he was pumping out content. He was pumping out a lot of good content, man. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this, man. Boom. This is a killer, man. Boom. Look at this guy. Right on, man. Look, he's total fire, man. Like, okay, let's go down, way down, and look. Uh, eight months, seven months, seven months, seven months, six months, six months. Like, look at all this content. Look at all this content. One month, right? Three weeks. Look at that. From one month, two months, 
Oh man, all this content. Look at all this content in in a couple months, you know? That's insane, dude. Hey, Mike Gonzalez, what's up, man? I'm uh, I'm in Edmonton, Alberta, in Canada, way up here in the wild, wild north net slash west. <laughs> what's up, man? How are you? What you? Where are you from? Is it me or do I see what I see what Chris is talking about? I don't know. <laughs> you don't. Uh, am I uh, not? Hold on here. One second. No, you guys, one second. You're right. You're right, Mame. I think. I think I unplugged the NDI. One second. Yeah, um, I, I think I see that, Amos. One second. Fuck. <laughs> Why is the NDI not working? What the hell, man? What the hell? Jeez, yeah. Another, yeah, you know what? That's maybe the problem. I'm not. But, uh, oh yeah, I am, <laughs> but not, not enough, maybe. Oh, so my NDI isn't working. Let me try to refresh it, see what happens. Oh, jeez, man, what the heck? No, Mike, we don't. We don't have a union up here, but that's a that's a good. Uh, oh, so my NDI is broken. That's great. Anyway, so, but that brings up a good point, Mike, because um, I'm doing a, I'm doing some. Like, I have some very strong opinions on why we need unions, and um, like I I know like there's a difference between union and non-union, and I wanna I even wanna make videos, a couple of videos explaining that. Um, Explaining the that the differences and why and then another one specifically on why we need them There's uh, there is not there's no strong unions up here like the, the it's all private It's insane man. It's insane There's uh there's a lot of crazy shit and the government here like I was saying like before just passed bill 32 c32 and it um it's uh, le legislation that basically it's, they call it the union union killer, right? So no new unions can come in to Alberta. It's insane. Uh, not with this, not with the existing legislation in place now. It's 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 crazy. Um, but and it also gives any existing union in the province no right to strike or anything like that. And it's it's really insane. Um, and and the workers get treated like shit. I'm not I'm not gonna lie workers get treated like shit and you know everyone's out fending for themselves you know finding their own jobs like i was saying people um like companies hire them hire bunches of guys for one job big job and then and the job's done and then lay them all off and then everyone's got to find a job again you know and then and it's no security in that you know, you know it's crazy you could be on a project for two years give a company you know uh, a long a long couple of years of hard work and um when it comes to layoff time, um, buddy's cousin or buddy's brother-in-law is going to get the job and you're not. <laughs> Simple as that. You know, you're the one going to get laid off. Yeah, even though you even though you work like 10 times harder than the guy. But, you know, it's, that's the way it is. You know, it's insane. So there's favorites and the ass kissing, backstabbing. You know, it's a fucking mess, <laughs> man. It's a total mess. So, uh, yeah, I'm a peace worker. I don't, so I don't work for companies because I cannot stand working by the hour for companies because that's how poorly they, they treat you like shit and they expect so much out of you. Um, I just like to do my peace work. I go in, get the, get the, get, get it done. The guys I work for love me, I pay me, I get out, you know, I don't have to deal with any of politics. I don't have to, you know, um, and this is great. I've been, I've been doing peace work, uh, to fund my, to fund this channel i want to i want to just be i just want to teach stuff full teach full time right and do content full time and um yeah yeah i did a lot of school man a lot of school 
Did a, was a project manager, did all my gold teal and project management, uh, safety, I'm, a, I'm an NCSO even, for crying out loud, I'm a national construction safety officer, so I know the legislation um, quite well. And so I know the, I know, I know the safety legislation and I know contracts and how things work. So it's really disturbing how I see people in the field being treated and um, how things are organized and planned. It's just, it's a lot of craziness going on, you know, and I, and I just like, I would love to be able to help train people to do it better, you know, to, so that the, it can be better. I love building. I absolutely love building. Uh, I love how it all works. I'm fascinated with it. I love it. And um, yeah, I still I still want to be a part of it. Just the body saying no, right? And yeah, I don't want to be like 60 years old, piece working drywall, you know, and steel stud anymore. And I and I can't. I just don't like working in the office. It's awful. <laughs> it's awful, man, for for multiple reasons. But what uh, what union are you in? Are you in the union, Mike? Are you in the? I know I'm from Toronto, Ontario, and everything is a union there. There's tons of unions there, um, and and I'm I come from the film industry in Toronto, and I was and I was in the union there for that, and um, it was awesome. Crony College, yeah, Carpenters Union, nice, yeah, that's a good union to be in, and yeah, especially if it's a strong one, it's it's a good it's a good union to be in. Southern Cali, oh. Jesus. Jealous, man. Jealous. That's cool, man. Yeah, totally jealous. Yeah, I'm so tired of the snow. Uh, we get a lot of snow up here. And, uh, like, the winters are so long, man. You'd wonder why anyone would ever live up here, really. <clears throat> but it's crazy where life takes you, I guess, you know? It's for, it's cool, that's for sure. You love the drywall? Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I put miles of miles of drywall on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I do tons of drywall. I, uh, I don't love it so much anymore. Well, yeah, the weather sucks, man. Yeah, the weather here sucks for sure. I'd, I'd like to be uh, somewhere south myself, you know, somewhere where it uh, doesn't snow anyways. I, I could I could care less if it rained or anything. I just don't want cold and snow anymore. Makes the day go fast, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, when we're when we're drywalling, yeah, it's it, it we can go to like seven o'clock at night in the summer and we don't even notice it. Yeah, oh yeah, New York is the same. Yeah, New York doesn't have very good weather either, really, does it? I mean, it snows too, but uh, I haven't been in New York in a long time. Yeah, it's been a really long time. Well, probably almost 20 years. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's uh, cold. Is cold. I mean, minus uh, 40. We get we get like minus 40. Um, I think it was like minus 60 in uh saskatchewan i think it was minus 60 one time i was there i was working but yeah minus 60 i think the hottest we ever get here would be like 80 in the summer maybe i don't know 80 maybe 90 i don't know <clears throat> 100 and <laughs> lately 119 yeah i don't even know i would have to google it man i don't i don't i wouldn't even know what we get on average over here or uh Um, 99. Oh, 99. That was in 1937. <laughs> it was 90, 99 Fahrenheit in uh, in 1937, dudes. Um, I don't think it's been current results. Uh, it's been not that high. So max 
32, 33, 30, 33, 30, 32. So that's 87, 87, 90, 91, 86, 91. So 91 looks like the highest it's been in a long time. Oh, the coldest? Oh, yeah. I could, yeah, I could probably do that. At coldest sun. Um, does it say that? Um, highest temperature. No. What about coldest? Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, the coldest ever recorded was minus 49.4 or minus uh, 56.9 Fahrenheit so that's 49.4 Celsius or minus 56.9 Fahrenheit <laughs> it's insane but uh, lately so minus 42 minus 39 yeah, recent numbers. Minus 40, minus 38. Ooh, minus 27. That's a good one in uh, 2016. I remember that. I was there. I was here the, this year. Yeah. Cold, eh? <laughs> Uh, minus 16 uh, minus 16. Yeah, I, I'm good. I can be like outside. No problem up to minus 20, you know uh, Minus 10 is is not bad at all for me Minus 20 starts to like getting kind of fucking cold <clears throat> You know Yeah, the birds yeah, that's why the birds fly south in the winter, man. The birds aren't here in the winter. They fly south. <laughs> There's um, some birds I think are winterized, but not not all the birds are are uh, winterized. So, <laughs> oh yeah, man. I I guess um, I could be playing some gravity or something at least. Do I have any media? Crony. Oh. Crony. Yeah. I got a. Hey, bud, cheer me up! I got these uh, overlays, eh? Oh, yeah! Look, brothers! Minus 16, that's minus 26. Oh, you just hear my, my Alienware just go when I play the graphic. It's just humming. Could you imagine how much power it takes? Like, I got the two gaming computers and the phone now um, to run the stream. So, with the mixer. <laughs> it's pretty cool, man pretty cool um yeah i do actually yeah i do um so anything when anything in wind over 35 kilometers an hour so in miles i don't know what that is but 35 kilometers an hour i'll look it up what it is in miles um 35 km to miles oh fuck uh, so that's 21.75, we'll say, miles. 21.75 miles. I shut her down. And then in, in the cold, yeah, like minus 20 maybe I'd shut her down, depending on the wind, you know. It would depend on the wind more than anything. Um, because if it's like minus 20 with the wind, um, it can get really cold, man. Uh, you're like in the middle of nowhere and a, a scissor lift outside right in the winter and doing steel stud and 
Yeah, you gotta be you like you know you gotta dress your you're gonna have gloves and everything and when you move it you you stay warm. And that's why I have special gear I wear in the winter. It's uh, wet dry gear, you know. Uh, so when I sweat, my it keeps my body completely dry. And then when the wind hits me, I don't get that chill, you know. Um, I love um, when you're in like big wide open spaces. I love the Helly Hansen stuff for that as well. Uh, but sweaters, uh, I wear I wear my wet dry. It's a long sleeve shirt, wet dry, and my in my in long underwear type thing, right? And then um, and then um, yeah, yeah. I I I will wear um, like I'll put like joggers and then my Carhartts. Sometimes I'll put snow pants on, right? And on top of all that, right? And then I'll just peel down if I need to. And by the end of the day, it's sunny. I'm usually down to my my one layer by the end of the day. Sometimes I'll be in a t-shirt. It, it, it gets sunnier in the afternoon. It warms up a bit. And then when you've been working all day and you're working hard, you'll just peel off your, you'll end up peeling off all your gear. And uh, yeah, you're warm, you know, you're, you're warm. <laughs> Yeah, long johns. Yeah, long johns. We call them long johns too, man. Got merino, merino wool. Yeah, too bad my NDI, my NDI isn't working, man. I can't. Uh, um, I don't want to. Sh well, no, oh, whatever. Fuck. It's a real pain in the butt. Merino wool. I think I know what you mean. Um, icebreaker. Oh, right on. Hmm. Yeah, it looks warm. Yeah, I'll have to look through that later. Um, it's too bad, man. We'll have to look at that when I next stream when I get my uh, NDI bat working. You know what I mean? Yeah, right on, Ryan Sloan. I I I, I hear you, man. I hear you, man. Um, yeah. So you wanna you're you wanna journey out. You're you're in um you're an apprentice. So I, I, can, I know how, are you in a union? Are you a registered apprentice and taking, uh, taking school? Or are you um, like just learning in the field, like, like local 213? Oh, okay, excellent, excellent. Um, so <clears throat> what I would do right away is get, call your local safety authority. So here in Alberta, we call it the um, ACSA, the Alberta Safety Construction Association. And I would, and I would take some, um, extra courses, right? They're usually pretty cheap, especially if you're in a union, you could probably get them for like 10 bucks a course, 10, 15 bucks a course, um, uh, uh, through your safety authority. Okay. And you go to these courses and, uh, you do, um, like, uh, principles for health and safety leadership. You do, um, health and like health and safety management. There's, uh, there's all kinds of courses, you know what I mean? Um, Mike Gonzalez, you finished the apprenticeship. That's that's dope, man. Good stuff. Congratulations, man. That's that's dope. That's really dope. Full full. Um, are you going for? Uh, this is carpentry as a as a red seal, doesn't it? Uh, interprovincial or something like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Um, so yeah, that's where I would go first. Forward thinking, man. Get safety trained. Um, Make sure you, because uh, you, you're when you're in ISM, you're gonna you're gonna use a lot of uh, scaffolding and equipment, right? Um, you're gonna use scissor lifts and boom lifts, and um, you're gonna build all kinds of scaffolding, tube and clamp, standard. Um, there's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff you're gonna do, man, because uh, it's a uh, it's a really uh, in depth uh, field. One second, guys. Sorry, one second.
Um, and um, yeah, so there, there's, there's usually three major safety courses that will uh, every foreman needs to have. And uh, um, yeah, like I'm saying, when you're in a union, you can probably take these courses maybe like for so cheap, man. Uh, take advantage of all the discounts on courses that the union gives you. Uh, especially starting starting in safety, because then you can then you can do um, this. You can help do this the monotonous safety paperwork, right? Um, college. So there's yeah. Okay. So yes, Ryan. This is the step two. Okay. So step two is um, or you could skip the safety and go straight to step two or do step two one. But this is how I did it, anyways. So um, I went in, I got trained up, I got my full NCSO, actually, full NCSO safety certification. Um, and then I went to night school, right, to the local uh, tech, tech college, uh, the Northern Alberta Institute of Technology, uh, Nate, and did the construction engineering technology program at night, right, and studying construction project management. Starting with the core courses, starting with uh, construction project management, uh, planning and estimating, right? So you'll learn how to uh, use like Microsoft Project and stuff. Uh, I did like, it might be different now, but I, when I did it, it was Microsoft Project. Uh, there's all kinds of programs, right? There's there's uh, BIM now, right? Like Bluebeam Review, there's uh, there's Primavera, there's, uh, you know, there's other stuff, right? there. But anyways, it's all the same shit once you get used to it. Um, and then, um, um, there's like uh, contract delivery systems, so learning about all the different types of construction, like design by build, IPD, all this stuff. Uh, contract law, there's the contract law, awesome course. Oh, contract law, uh, it was awesome. Um, but yeah, anyways, so there, there's uh, there's awesome courses. It's called construction technology, okay? Uh, construction engineering technology or construction technology. Uh, one of those two things, what we call it here. So look for something like that at your local uh, tech college, man, and do night school while you're working in the day. I, that's what I did. Um, there's two, I went two nights a week, I think, studied, you know, for three hours each night, uh, but studied my ass off, got super high marks, damn near perfect marks all the way. So yeah, I read, you know, I got all the textbooks, read them front to back, man, devoured it. I love building, I love construction. And and because I was in it for so long, reading all the management stuff and putting it all together in my head, I'm like, I understand this, man. I understand this stuff. This is crazy. What's up, uh, Sammy? And then uh, Ryan, yeah. So it depends. And then you're, you're like, yeah, like I just funded it basically all myself, right? Like I... Um, I worked and I and I paid for all my courses and stuff on my own and yeah, right on Sammy you got 60 subscribers right on Woo -woo. <laughs> Nice bro, that's dope dude <laughs> oh, I, feel good. I need some uh, fireworks man. That's what I, that's what I need fireworks. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that's awesome, brother. Good stuff, man. Um, that's awesome, man. Good stuff, good brother. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so once you once you get your your safety and your and those um, the construction technology done or even started, man, you're you can get a job even even if you're close to finishing it you can get a job like i did i i was i wasn't even done before i got hired as a project manager you know um yeah it was it's but yeah if you're if you're just beginning you know it's about learning your job learning the boots like coming up the ranks is the best type of project manager there is um they're the best they're they're where we are a rare breed and have a very unique insight into the field and into the into the project you know um, a lot of these guys are are money guys and you're that's what's going to frustrate you when you get to the top is the, a lot of these guys in there are money guys and stuff they don't understand the the process uh, you know they don't they don't get the the blood and sweat that goes into these projects right so um yeah it's it's crazy man 
But yeah, so they value our insight though, right? And you can make some big bucks. So learn learn the drawings, learn the specs if you can, you know. Um, yeah, just learn, absorb, and be a, the best worker you can be. And uh, learn to lead by example and be a good model. And then, yeah, the, you're the, the sky's the limit, man. Uh, you could go so far in, in, in construction in the trades is crazy. You could be like, you could go very far and make a lot of money. So, <laughs> right. <clears throat> um, yeah, I studied uh, business in college for um, three years as well. I studied business full time in college for three years and um Glad I did that. Actually, I I wasn't sure I was gonna I was I didn't know what the hell I was gonna do. And I took business in college, and and I I'm I'm glad I did though, cause yeah, it really helps me understand the um, the business and um, yeah, how to be how to run my business as a piece worker and, and a small contractor, right? So yeah, write fireworks down. Got it. Yeah, baby, I need fireworks, and I think I know how to get them. That is the truth. I think I can get them, no problem. Um, I should. I could probably get them right now, actually. Hold on, let me see if I can. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate the feedback, Ryan. I appreciate that big time, man. Uh, right on. Make sure you uh, say hi in the comments and stuff, and 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 um, yeah, anytime you have questions and whatnot. Uh, don't be don't be shy, man. Right on, dude. I'm I'm I'm, I'm super happy to hear that. But uh, that takes me to the end of the stream, boys. It's the that time again. Uh, but I'll be live again this time. This same bat time, same bat place. Seven thirty Mountain Standard Time. Construction Crew's live stream. We're doing thirty days straight. The um, today's the fourteenth day, man. Sixteen more days to go, guys. So sixteen more days straight, and then uh, we'll be going to a regular schedule. I'll be rolling out channel memberships and stuff like that. So there'll be maybe we're going to try to do some other types of st content and see how that goes. Hopefully it goes well. Cause uh, yeah, it would be, it'd be awesome to be able to keep doing this side of things all the time. You know, I like, I love this channel. This is my, this is my baby. This, this channel, you guys are my, you're my friends. So um, yeah, yeah. I've nurtured this, this channel. So I want to take good care of it. So good night guys. We'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, Mike and Ryan and Amos and Sammy. Congratulations again, brother. Um, <clears throat> sorry, and Amaron. Man, always, always a pleasure to see you, guy. And we, oh my goodness. Did I say Mike? I hope I said Mike. Uh, I'm Kona Man and yeah, there's everybody. Everybody. Bob's. Oh, yeah. Bob's and Eva. Everyone popped in. There's lots of people popping in. Tool Man and OG. Yeah, nice to see OG. Adam Bomb. My mom was in. Right on. That's cool. Oh, Mr. Paul Peck. Yeah, cheers, brother. I love when he pops in. It's so cool. Feels so flattered, you know? Mr. Big Shot. Yeah, he's so he's awesome. He's such a cool guy. Love it. All right, guys. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Hopefully. I will be on, but hopefully you come. <laughs> Bye, guys. Do we have any music? Nope. <laughs> Just a blabbling idiot. You can tell I'm tired, man. Um, nope, nope, no. Nope. What the hell is this? Um, I'm confused as why this is a, this doesn't make sense. I'm just. All right, man. That's it. And we're going to try this song. Sounds all right. I'll have a good night. Thank you for coming. For real, guys. Peace.
motherfucker. Hey, bye-bye here. Hit that subscribe button.